Confucius. Hey guys, uh, Punisher here with Console Confucius, and sorry I haven't been able to release a video in a while. My recording device, the program itself was just messing up, and it really, it was always glitching or freezing, and but it somehow is working now, and I'm glad because Black Ops is out, and I can release some more videos to you, to you guys, and. In this game, it's on a uh, summit, and I'm using an M16 silenced with my hidden uh, class with uh, the one that uh, keeps me from UAV. Uh, I can't show up to that. I forget what it's called exactly, but uh, I really want to discuss just the pros and cons of this game and the multiplayer itself. And first of all, the multiplayer is really balanced. I really just love the multiplayer and how well it's uh, balanced and how well it's been made. And it really, um, like many websites have been saying, it's really the most balanced COD yet. And I really like it because you're not being killed by random stuff like noob tubes or being knifed by a guy with Commando and Marathon Pro and it really makes for a really fun experience now the shooting style is a bit different than Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 it's more of like a combination of a COD 4 versus a world at war but a lot of people just think that World of War sucked but there were a lot of good things about World at War again it was a really balanced game other than the uh, MP5 uh, MP40 how I'm used to this game saying MP5K, but uh, yeah, and the really only thing I hate so far about this game and the multiplayer is, one, the connection issues, there is so much lag, so much freezing, every time you leave a game, it freezes for about 15 seconds, and every time I just like sit there thinking, oh crap, did my system freeze, and then it'll start going again and that's that and the knifing the knifing is really weird on this game because sometimes I'll be one foot away from a guy and I'll knife at him and nothing will happen and then other times I'll be three feet away from a guy and knife at him and I'll lunge across the map and it really just I don't get it cuz I'll get randomly killed by these snipers that I obviously knifed at them and then they'll be in the same spot and knife at me and lunge. And it, it's, it's just a small annoyance uh, of mine, but there are a lot of good and great things about this game and for one, the maps, the maps are really well made. Treyarch's always been good at making maps because they make their layout of their map simple, but within the layout itself, there's so much detail in it that it's just extraordinary and very visually stimulating and visually uh, awesome. But you, you see I'm getting some nade kills, I'm getting a bunch of uh, UAVs, and the one thing I noticed about, uh, I went about 42... 43 and 16 I believe to be exact but one thing I noticed was you you don't get uh, a bunch of kills as often as uh, in Modern Warfare 2 you won't have like a 53 and 6 game for every kill you get you're gonna get more more deaths than in Modern Warfare 2 because I guess because of the kill streaks, your kill streaks can't just rack in kills for you. I guess uh, that was one thing I really hated about Modern Warfare 2 was once someone had a kill streak, they were almost unstoppable, and that just really pissed me off and uh, just completely pissed me off. I didn't like it. But this game is a lot more balanced than the kill streaks itself, and the kill streaks sort of weigh out each other, and none of, no kill streak is too overpowered. There are ways to dodge the choppers. There are ways to do this and that, and uh, I re I really like that. But as you see in this game, they've started to spawn trap us, and this is where I really uh, start doing bad here in the middle 
but I end up um, doing a lot better in the end. You'll see this isn't that good of a game of mine, but like I said, it was my first real um, high scoring game or high uh, killing game. And uh, although I got 16 deaths, I did get 43 kills, which uh, I find is actually uh, sort of harder to do in this game compared to Modern Warfare 2, like I said. And uh, I feel like I show a lot of kill streaks in this game, get a lot of UAVs, I get a chopper, I'm, I get something from a care package. So, uh, as you see, they're spawn trapping us, but I'm throwing nades, I'm trying to watch my walls, and this guy up here, just, I don't know how he survived that, but he keeps just sitting here with his little, um, thermal scope and just camping me and it pisses me off and the one weakness I really have is going back to kill a camper a second time and you see right there he kills me again the same guy with his thermal blue scope <clears throat> and I believe I finally learned my lesson I didn't watch all the way through this video but uh I start to get some kills, more kills here. I get one kill with a grenade, another kill with that. And I run up here, and I'm watching the UAV the whole time. Because the UAV is really one of the most uh, powerful kill streaks in the game. It will really just allow you to do so much in the game and allow you to know where the enemy is. And to do good in a game like this, you've got to know where the enemy is. And now, as you see, I start racking in some kills. I'm starting to knife some people, I get a knife there, and I get a care package. Now, I see that A is being taken, so I want to try to keep A, and this guy doesn't even notice me because of my silencer. I kill all three of those guys right there. And now I have the chopper, and I called in right on their spawn, where they're spawning over there. I notice, um, uh, because of the UAV, again, I like how the UAVs, uh, I know how, one good thing about the UAV, is that it transfers over to kill streaks. So if you get something like a chopper or a uh, mortar strike or something, you can call it in and see where they are. But here I get a mortar uh, strike from the UAV and or from the care package, and this is where I can pick three spots to call it in, which is good because I guess you could actually call those in on the same spot. So you could either have a really strong uh, concentrated strike or a more spread out uh, lesson strike. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm guessing you could do that just from uh, my guess. But I end up getting killed, and here the game is going to start wrapping up. I believe I get a few more kills. Now this is awesome. Props out to this guy who got this tomahawk kill. Amazing kill right there. Just... Uh, Props out to him. I mean, that was an awesome kill. Just utterly amazing. I mean, I've never been good with uh, tomahawks or uh, throwing knives or any of that crap. So uh, I always like to see a good throwing knife or kill or a ballistics knife kill in this game and in Modern Warfare 2. But I see the ballistics knife and I really want to try it out, so I switch to it. And all these three guys start running at me, and I completely fail at hitting this guy. But the game's ending, and the one thing I know is that this game is a happy difference in Modern Warfare 2. It, Treyarch did an amazing job. I was really disappointed in Modern Warfare 2. And I believe that they sort of gained my confidence back in the... Call of Duty franchise, so I'm going to give you a bunch more multiplayer gameplay, me and Skater are going to do a whole uh, campaign walkthrough, definitely, we're going to get you some zombie gameplay, and um, whatever else we seem to find, or whatever else Treyarch releases in this game, and so, I'm Pona sure this is Console Confucius, and uh, make sure you check out some of our other videos, and subscribe if you want to but uh stay tuned